Hey folks, thanks for tuning in. I just thought I'd show you my desk area and my business, business, what am I calling it? Business binder. I don't know if you're interested in that stuff or not. So here's my desk. I finally, yesterday, got this bulletin board put up. It didn't have anything on the back, like hooks or anything. So I had to go and buy one of those little toothy things with the itty bitty little tiny nails in it. So I'm sitting there trying to hammer these teeny weeny little nails into this itsy bitsy little hole. <laughs> I can't see it. Oh my God. <laughs> But it helped to have pliers. Um, I held the little bitty nails with pliers since they were thinner than my fingers. But anyway, it's up. Only took a couple years. Yay! <laughs> oh, and uh, the background's kind of interesting on it. Oh, if I can zoom without. See, I got that sort of lacy background on it. There. Oops, I'm slipping all over the place. Well, it's lace. It looks like lace. And um, that's from... Um, uh, th that's a window film. You would put that on your windows. And actually, I do have it on some of my windows. And this was left over. And I just wanted to... to I thought it would be kind of pretty to cover over the cork. Yeah, but I put the film on a few years ago. It's starting to peel off now. <laughs> That's okay. So anyway, and this, so here we have my desk. This is an old banquet table. When I moved in a couple years back, I found this in the shed in the back. So it's very heavy. A friend and I hauled it across the backyard and up into the house. And it's been used for many things, but now it's finally it's doing do, doing service as a computer and desk area. So to get a little closer, it wasn't painted. I painted this last summer, and I can explain my reasoning here. Let me zoom out a little. Let's see. Okay, so we have various colors on here. I repainted several rooms in my house last summer, spring and summer. And, and um, I decided, you know, this desk was just, you know, plain old yucky dirty masonite. And I realized that I wanted to paint it and I'd paint, paint something fun on it. And I wanted it to be matched. So whatever room I put it in, it would not, wouldn't clash with the color scheme. It would go with the color scheme. So the rooms are painted in all these different colors. So this is like a sand color. That's my basically my wall color. This is a bluish gray. My chat room is blue gray trim and sand walls. My guest bedroom is sand walls and purple trim. The room we're in now is banded. It's the top band is turquoise. Let me zoom a little here. The top band is this turquoise color. The center band is the Bermuda sand the color here, and then the lower band is this taupe. So if I want to move this into the, be the guest bedroom, I'm fine because it, the guest bedroom is purple and sand. So this is the, the center flower that is kind of covered up by stuff now. and. Unfortunately, the paint's already starting to kind of peel off, but, I mean, it's just latex. But, um, I had fun, you know, just gotta make it fun. This was just such an ugly old, 
ugly old desk. It was just utilitarian and I can't, just couldn't find a nice real desk like a secretary or something, which I love. I love antiques, but sure couldn't find one, sure couldn't afford one. So this has a lot of room. I'm slowly adding storage things as I find them and as, as finances allow. I would love to have a, um, a two drawer filing cabinet and I could probably put a lot of this stuff right in the drawers but so for storage I just pick out kind of the you know like these pretty boxes here they pretty well they go pretty well with my color scheme and so everything's kind of in a in its place so let's look at my business binder. Okay, here's my business binder. Um, I'm a Barefoot Books Ambassador. And when you... I have discovered that it's really a nice idea. When you get your starter kit, is get a binder, a loose leaf binder, and page protectors. And then take apart one of your catalogs. Okay, so here's the inside. And uh, this is a little tricky. I got this sort of angled up, but um, yeah, this is a calculator. These are stickers that they make. The company sells them. So what I did was I took apart my catalog, and each page from the catalog, of course, went into a pocket, a page protector. So now I've got like the go-to catalog. It's always going to be mine. I know where it's where it is. I can always find it. Also, when I go take my stuff to a, an event for selling, a party or whatever, I'll take this book with me and people can flip through this and if they're really interested then they can take their own catalog home with them. And of course the Page protectors are good in case somebody has dirty hands. So I just put the whole thing in. This also, doing this got me acquainted with the book. So, you know, I kind of know the layout and stuff like that. So that's the end of the catalog. That's just a divider. I could decorate that, couldn't I? This just tells me the what book is what what their age is geared to, what each book is, you know. Yeah. <laughs> this okay, here's some more stickers because I'm using them for my planner. Okay, I use the uncalendar, or I'm just starting to use it, which is an unusual system. It's rather Let's see if I can move this over a little bit. Sort of a free form one. Um, these are instructions on how to use it. Um, this is the, the calendar page. There's just not much, not much in it. And I was decorating it with the stickers there. And I just, I don't have much booked for January. <laughs> Conference call on the 5th. Um, so let me show you how these pages are set up. So on the left, you just got blank spots, really, just boxes for doodles or ideas or whatever you want to put in them. I would imagine this, these pages I'll use for notes at meetings, at, um, for the conference call I'll probably write notes in here. And then these, this is an undated system, so you just write in your dates as you're ready. So the pages are all pretty much the same, you could pretty it up if you wanted to. It's color coded, you've got red, green, yellow, and blue. You know, it's pretty much your own take on it, so it's very unrestricted restrictive if you want to make a list with all timing and stuff or anything just really pretty much anything it's just boxes and lines and a few numbers that's really all it is and it goes for 52 weeks or so 
Again, this is called the Uncalendar. Next section is month goals, and it tells you how to what it, what the heck you're supposed to do. But they're all just suggestions. Monthly planning. Just you know, make yourself a list or write a paragraph. Or and these are the each of these boxes is a month. And you've got the big calendar for the for a year for a year and of course since it's undated you can start anytime you want get back to it if you need to leave it for a while it gives you more suggestions on how you want to use it and this is just really blank just lined Line paper, notes, whatever you want to do. It's just really, it's not, it's not trying to tell you how to live your life. It's just like, put this in here. It gives you a little bit of structure, so it's not like a totally blank journal. It just sort of gives you, gives you places to put, Put your stuff, whatever stuff you want to put, <laughs> and put it put it wherever you want to put it too. There are some calendars here, and I never, I'm not a much of a planner type of person because I don't have a busy life. I don't have a husband or kids, so I'm not running people around to soccer games or whatever. This, I would say, is an address book, but it doesn't have to be. These pages look like that. So I got the, the big size. This comes in a lot of different forms. Obviously, this is the loose leaf version, but you can get one with a, um, I think it's a spiral, spiral bound, pretty sure. Uh, you can get a loose leaf, a, um, small loose leaf. Let's see if I can get this out. I got a small one too for my personal stuff. So you can see, this came, this is the binder it came with. And I've been fixing this up a bit. I added that, but it's the same, same thing. In my personal one, I've just been writing stuff that I need to do, or what happened in the day, things that I just want to sort of post someplace. Like I've written books, and these are my um, graphics from my books. These are all the characters in, in one of them, and these are more of my book and YouTube characters, just to kind of have a place reference area for them and right now I'm just using this book for what packages are due. <laughs> I go Christmas shopping after Christmas when the deals deals are are on. You know, buy yourself the stuff that nobody gave you. <laughs> so this is more like an idea book. And when I get some proper pens, I might do some more drawing. So, yeah, there's that's basically that's my business binder, and I hope that it gives you some cool ideas, maybe some source of inspiration or something. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you're having a good evening. This has been Fox. Take care.